Does the Washington Group short set identify all people with disabilities? The Washington Group short set is a set of six questions developed to identify people at risk of exclusion because of functional limitations in an unaccommodating environment. It asks about difficulties with basic actions such as seeing, cognition, and walking. But do these six questions identify all persons with functional limitations who are at risk of exclusion? And is it necessary for statistical purposes that they do? The answer is no, and here's why. Question domains were selected using the criteria of simplicity, brevity, universality, and comparability. The information that results from the use of these questions will represent the majority of but not all persons with limitations in basic actions, represent the most commonly occurring limitations in basic actions, and be able to capture persons with similar problems across countries. Disability is complicated and there are many different reasons for collecting information that identifies people with disabilities, so there is no one gold standard for doing that. However, is it necessary to identify all persons with functional limitations who are at risk of exclusion? The purpose of the Washington Group short set is to see if outcomes for people with disabilities are different from those without disabilities. In other words, to identify disability gaps. So, for that purpose it is not necessary to identify all people with disabilities, only the large majority. The short set does not include questions in two important domains of functioning, psychosocial and upper body functioning. This does not mean that people with these difficulties are not included in the short set. Some, but not all of those with difficulties in these domains are captured through the other six questions. For example, in the US, it is estimated that omitting these two domains reduces the overall prevalence of disability by about 2%. That is, about 2% of the population are miscategorized as being without, when in fact they have disabilities. However, when comparing gaps between those with and without disabilities, having a few percentages of people with disabilities included in the 91.5% of those without disabilities does not change the estimated gap by very much. There will be a small underestimation of the disability gap in the outcome. Moreover, leaving out those not identified by the short set who have upper body or psychosocial difficulties will have a small impact on measuring the trends in the disability gap. That is because that initial underestimation is most likely going to be constant across time so that the changes in the measured disability gap will not be affected. The Washington Group short set is limited to only six questions because it was developed to be used in conjunction with other surveys and censuses where the amount of space on the questionnaire and time available for data collection is normally very limited. The more questions required to be put on a survey, the less chance that they will be included because of cost and time constraints. The requirement that the Washington Group short set be able to be included in censuses also put constraints on what could be asked. In some countries, questions on psychosocial functioning can be considered sensitive and would not be included. These constraints do not apply to surveys. Finally, if a country wants to reduce underestimation of the disability prevalence and any impact on the disability gap or is interested in the population of people with anxiety, depression and upper body difficulties, the Washington Group Enhanced or Extended Set, which include questions on additional domains, can be used. The Child Functioning Module can also be used to obtain a more comprehensive estimate of the prevalence of children with disabilities and their characteristics. However, including more questions does take up more time and space on the surveys increasing the costs of conducting the survey. These additional costs need to be weighed against the objectives of the data collection and the resources available. For more information on the Washington Group on Disability Statistics, visit the website at washingtongroup-disability.com.